Well, uh, let's also get in Naveen Kumar Dubey of Narnolia Financial Advisors, who joins us on the show right now. Naveen, uh, good afternoon. Uh, what have you made of the numbers? Uh, any concerns with respect to margins? Yeah, uh, margins were uh, certainly below our expectation. We were expecting somewhere in 30.6% of margins during the quarter. But it has come down to 29%, which is a really a concern uh, we see here. Uh, going ahead, we expect that uh, the margins will achieve uh, those 30% marks uh, because in this quarter there was certainly uh, the new launches that happened from the uh, ISO side that certainly had uh, some impact on the you know uh, other expenses which uh, resulted in the lower margins during the quarter uh, further uh, i think on the other other income has resulted in a good pa um, resulted in good pad for the quarter so i think the bottom line has come up with our expectation of uh, somewhere 516 crore it's Hmm. Okay, Naveen, on the on the consolidated basis, sure. Uh, if you leave the Royal Enfield business aside, uh, what can you expect from its uh, uh, joint venture with Volvo? Uh, and you know, what is your outlook going forward? So uh, certainly, the uh, commercial vehicle side um, is, uh, right now is under bit under pressure due to some uh, liquidity issue that is uh, in the market, but. This can, um, uh, I should can overcome from this big, uh, we see the new launches coming in, uh, going ahead, which will add. And second part is that uh, if we see the construction side, which, which um, is uh, related to the higher volumes for commercial vehicles, uh, that their uh, order book is very strong with the construction structure companies. So we expect going ahead, the volumes will be uh, certainly in, on the higher side, but not in the next two quarters. After then, we expect that volumes to be higher. Okay, Aditya and Naveen, thanks for joining us and well, giving us your initial take on Aisha Motors numbers. But on that note, I'm also going to bring in my colleague, Yatin Mota.